Okay, this is uh, September the 28th or something like that, I think. This is my aquaponics, my first bed I've ever done. So it's kind of been a trial and, and see method of getting things put together. After watching lots of videos and uh, kind of coming up with my own little things, this is what I've come up with. Uh, I have a bed that's about 2 by 3. And here's my bell siphon. It's just a, uh, you see I got a three quarter inch piece of PVC and a two inch uh, PVC with a quarter inch breather tube on the end of it. And it's getting ready to cycle here in just a second. I filled the grow bed with uh, Big River Rock about halfway up and then I went to hydrogen uh, to the top. And I've already planted this bed also. I've got all kinds of stuff in there, but um, one thing that seemed to be prevalent with every, all the videos that I watched was that people had a problem controlling their pH and fish dying. So what I've done is come up with something that hopefully will help that. Uh, we'll see, but I just come out of the bottom of my bed, you can see there, and I go into this container and I made a little biofilter with it inside this container if you can see but I have a bunch of those scrubby pads along with the the round ones that you uh, used to be the old-time pot scrubbers and they're made out of some kind of little plastic or vinyl or something but anyway I filled that full of that so that whenever the water drains from the bed it will come down and go to this filter first uh, before that way it'll go get filtered before it goes into the fish tank. From there, obviously we'll go to the tank. Uh, what I did was, whenever this starts to drain, which is, you can see it's just now starting to cycle now, but because there's so much more water coming in, uh, I ended up with two outlets going out so that this little container didn't fill. Um, I did it with one and the water I don't know, the water got up to about here and, and it was just higher than what I wanted to chance. So I just put another outlet in there and, and it works real well. Now the water, I don't know, it comes up to about there or so and then it, it uh, stops there and goes in and drains. In the tank, I think I have about 30 gallons. I just took a 55 gallon tub, cut it in half and I put 30 gallons of rainwater in it. I have six goldfish in there that are about five inches long, I would say, each. And that's probably too many. I don't know, we'll just have to see as we go along here. But uh, they, I just had it going a couple days, but I had uh, somebody give me a dozen big goldfish and I cut it in half and, and put six of them in here. So we'll see how that turns out. Uh, I have a small pump, I think it's 140 or 160 gallon uh, pump in the bottom of the tank that just takes it, the water back up to the grow bed and this is the flow that I have going in. And with that flow, it's taken somewhere in the neighborhood of about 15 minutes cycle. I've uh, cut the water flow going in way down so that it's just barely coming in. It's taking a little longer for my uh, siphon to kick in and, and go wide open, but I don't care. It, it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, it's still around 15 minutes of the total cycle. So I can adjust that if I need to. Uh, if I, I could put a timer on it where it kicks on every 10 minutes or something and, and then that would take it add about 10 minutes to the cycle uh, time and I may do that I don't know we'll just have to see how things go as we go along here um, but for now I'm just going to leave it the way it is you can see my bell size move there so it's just about kicked in and you can see it's draining out now in my little filter you can see the flow coming in it's a three quarter inch to, uh, fitting 
so it's wide open. You can see the water level just stays about there, so, and then close it back into the fish tank. So, and like I said, I've already planted everything. Uh, I have a really good light. I used this last year for my hydroponics, and it worked extremely well. I had vegetables all winter long, so I just decided to try something different, and this is what I came up with for aquaponics. I'll give this a whirl. If it works out real well, I can add another bed to it and move this one back and add another one here. I want to keep it inside my grow tent uh, so I can close it up and uh, it'll get good and hot in here. And then I can drop my light down right on top of the table, which I'll do after I get done with the video. But uh, I'll show you the bell siphon as it's getting ready to cycle, or finish the cycle, I'm sorry. Almost there. It suck in air, and that's it. And it breaks the cycle. I had a lot of people, I watched a lot of bell siphon videos, and uh, a lot of people had a lot of uh, hard time with them getting them to work right. Mine worked right the very first time I put it in there, and I guess that's just sucker's luck or something, I don't know, but um, it's really simple. I just have a two inch piece of PVC, I put a cap on it, it's not glued or anything, and I hope you can see down in there, you can see the... Uh, the quarter inch tube that I have run down the middle and it just goes down in the middle of that standpipe and this is the level you can see the end of the tube here this is the level of the water whenever it will break the siphon so there's just you know quarter of an inch of water or something in the bottom of the pipe when it breaks siphon so it works real well I, I finished it yesterday and I let it run all night and it cycled perfectly all night long so um, we'll just see how it goes along here. I'll give you another update in another week or so and we'll see if if anything has germinated. I planted a, the whole bed just a little bit ago. So we'll see how that goes. Alright, thanks for watching.